It was in my last days in Iraq that I visited this tiny village in eastern Baghdad. Like so many places in this nation, it was destroyed and abandoned during the fighting. The farming families lost their breadwinners and their hopes in 2007, and women like Hasna, who invited me into her home, will never recover. She lost five of her sons and her husband. This cafe in Baghdad, the Shah Bandar, on the historic street of Mutanabbi, was rebuilt. In the bombing that destroyed it, these five men were killed. Their pictures will forever hang on the new pristine walls built over the rubble and their blood. In 2005, we woke up to two huge bombings that rocked our hotel. No one died in our building where many foreign journalists lived, but outside the protective concrete walls, at least eight Iraqis died. One was a baker and the son of the kind man at the front desk. This was the most devastating day of the war. In a series of explosions, minutes apart, more than 300 people were killed. Days later, people were still being pulled from the rubble. Fazia's face still haunts me. She sobbed as she told me about the slaying of her son by local militia members. Without his daily earnings, they barely survived, and they'd sold nearly all their belongings by the time we visited. Three children sat on the steps of an unfinished building here. They were driven out of their homes by sectarian violence. But even in the worst conditions, they giggled and they played. This picture makes me think of a child's understanding of Iraq. One child once told me that he wanted to be an American when he grew up. He thought it meant to wear a uniform, to carry a gun, and to have the power to kill who you wanted. On this day, two young soldiers took a dinner break in an Iraqi home they occupied during fierce fighting in Sutter City. For days, they slept in abandoned buildings and came under heavy fire from militiamen. They didn't know if they would survive. This is a rare moment of hope. A young soldier worked to get a little girl legs. By the time he left Iraq, she had prosthetic limbs to replace her legs blown off in a roadside bomb. In the 2009 elections, fewer people turned out to vote than before. Those that did hoped it would bring more stability. Sports is always a time to escape, and soccer often brought joy in a place that could be joyless. At a small cafe dedicated to a famous Egyptian singer, men played backgammon and drank sweet cups of tea as her voice sang of loss, pain, and love. <laughs>